Welcome to the CTTP training videos. ASHTO T89 Determining the Liquid Limit of Soils This video demonstrates the procedure for correctly adjusting a manual liquid limit device. Inspect the liquid limit device prior to use. Check points of contact, wear areas, connecting screws, and pin play. Points of contact include the bottom of the cup and the base of the machine at the point where the cup contacts the base. Points of contact should not be greater than 13 millimeters or approximately half an inch in diameter. Wear areas include the grooving line and front rim of the cup. When an indentation or groove in the cup surface can be felt, it is time to replace the cup. Check the two connecting screws that hold the cup to the hanger arm for tightness. Check the cup for side-to-side -side play, indicating that the pin that holds the cup to the machine is worn. Verify the cup drop height daily. To do this, flip the cup up and place a piece of masking tape on the bottom of the cup so that a straight edge of the tape bisects the point of contact on the cup. Lower the cup to the base and slide the gauge block between the base and the cup along the grooving line until the gauge block contacts the edge of the tape. Hold the gauge block so that it lies flat on the base and turn the crank. Watch the cup for movement. If no contact is made between the hanger arm and cam, the drop height is set too low and must be adjusted. To adjust it, loosen the set screw on top of the machine and turn the adjustment screw on the rear of the machine to move the cup closer to the cam. Then tighten the set screw. Reposition the gauge block so that it is level with the base and in contact with the tape and turn the handle. If the cup rises and drops back down to the gauge block, the drop height is set too high and must be adjusted. To reduce the drop height, loosen the set screw and turn the adjustment screw on the rear of the machine to move the cup away from the cam. Tighten the set screw and reposition the gauge block. Turn the handle and watch the cup. The cup drop height is set correctly when contact is being made between the hanger arm and cam and the cup does not rise off the gauge block. A ringing or slight clicking sound may be heard along with the slight movement in the cup. The final step is to remove the tape from the bottom of the cup to prevent an error in testing. Please visit our website at cttp.org for other training videos and modules.